Hey everyone, so welcome back to another video in our channel and today we are going to discuss regarding the Cognizant Qualifier Assessment Detail Process Roadmap how to so, carry. In my previously, I have told in my previous two videos regarding the Cognizant Qualifier that uh, what Cognizant is doing now for both uh, CSD candidates and also for FT candidates who are going through that training now. So I have made a separate training video uh, for in which you can uh, learn about the different phases, uh, their exam pattern, interview process, everything. So basically there are uh, generally two phases. The first phase is they will give you fundamental trainings and there will be a after, uh, after that there will be a qualifier assessment. So uh, after qualifier assessment, if those people who are not able to clear the qualifier assessment, pass the qualifier assessment, they are getting the going to be terminated from the cognizant. So they are not going to continue in the uh, company because if you are not able to clear the fundamental training assessment as well, then they are uh, going to get terminated. Okay. So uh, by uh, clearing means what? First of all, we need to know what is the meaning of clearing the qualifier assessment? How much marks was needed to pass it? Is it 30%, 35%? No, it is not that easy. The marks that are going to be required to pass the qualifier assessment is going to be 70% at least. If you are even getting 68, 69%, you are a fail. Okay. And there is also one more thing. How many chances do you think they are going to give you to get the 70% marks? How many chances? Two chances, three chances. How many chances? Only one chance will be there. Okay. There will be no reassessment. There will be no second chance. So it's one uh, one day, like two to three hours time you will get, uh, mostly three hours generally. Even if you are not able to clear the 70% marks criteria in that particular time slot, then you are done. So all of your months performance, your whole one month or two months struggle, you are going through your different cities, staying in a PG, giving rents also from your own pocket, traveling cost from your own pocket, will all go in vain and will all sum up to zero if you cannot clear the qualifier assessment in one go. So in this video, we are going to see how to clear this qualifier assessment, how to prepare for it so that you will surely pass this exam. Always remember, I always say this, that smart work is much more effective than hard work. Okay. It does not matter if you are studying uh, on like eight hours or nine hours in office and coming home and again studying three hours every day. You can still uh, beat those people who are doing this by studying only two to three hours daily. But you need to learn what is they going to ask. You have to focus on that type of thing and how you should do that. We are going to discuss in this video. But before that, if you are new to our channel, make sure to click on the subscribe button and join our telegram group from the description box link if you have any discussions. Also make sure to click on the bell icon because we provide different onboarding, training and exam or the interview, different updates regarding the IT industry every day. Make sure not to miss out. So first of all, we are going to discuss regarding what happens and how the qualifier assessment happens. First of all, after uh, joining, there will be within like one week, you will get to know about your domain, which domain you are getting. And after that, your coach will be assigned to you and they will give you some training plan. Okay. Some uh, access to a platform named as tech stack platform. And in that platform, there will be different tracks, different coding questions for practicing, different learning uh, courses, Udemy or other courses as well might be there. Okay. These things are all okay and good for your learning. Okay, there will be different different questions also for you to practice, but these questions are all okay for learning purpose, not for passing the qualifier assessment purpose. Okay, the questions what you are going to practice there and the questions what they are going to ask you in the qualifier, there are huge difference in between these two. So if you are just practicing from the text stack and directly going for the assessment, then you are going to just face and some questions and then you are going to see heaven. Okay, because you are not uh, going to even catch anything what they are saying because you will not able to understand what this is. We, we do not have learned this thing. I did not learn this in the training and all. So for that, you have to have prior knowledge from either previous batch students or those uh, your similar batch students who are already done with their qualifiers and all. You have to gain some advanced knowledge from them. We are giving you that in this particular video so that you do not have to worry about this. Okay. We, you need a particular guide to re reach a goal. We are going to give you that in this video. You have to learn a language before going for the qualifier level. So you have to learn the Java or C sharp or whatever language they will give you to learn. And along with that, generally there is SQL. 
so you have to learn that also okay whatever will be your given language it will be based on your uh, domain what domain you are getting that will decide what language you are going to get trained in okay so uh, that may vary from different persons to person so that's why i will suggest that uh, you should know the basics of programming whatever language you got the lo logical of programming will be re remaining same whatever language it might be the logic will remain same how to uh, go how to see a question how to uh, solve a question the logic will remain same the syntax will differ but the logic will remain same so start practice codings start practice solving hacker rank or any there are different different many uh, platforms like hacker rank hacker the gfg also start practice solving those questions from basic to moderate level slowly slowly okay that will help you in your logic building process even without joining even without getting your domains you can do this thing also start learning sql we have a separate sql playlist where you can learn the basics of sql okay uh, along with uh, that you can learn that from our playlist i will give you the link in the descriptions also other than that you should learn the defined functions in the sql that is the date time and you know, other functions as well that is not in the video you can check that from the just gfg or google or anywhere about the date times and all but the logic buildings of sql is also you have to learn that you can check from the playlist how to build a logic of a questions okay these logic buildings you can do and learning sql also you can do without even getting to know your domain or without even getting joining okay once you are going to get joining then will not have much time because every day you have to go to office for uh, at least 9 hours okay so you will be busy and after coming home you will feel tired and again next day you have to go to office in the morning so you will not get enough time to do self study and all okay that's why i'm saying when you are waiting for onboarding that is the perfect time to prepare these things and then after getting on onboarding whatever domain you get learn that uh, particular language syntax you can start the logic building by java because there is a good chance of getting either java or c sharp in the training okay so you can start your logic building by java and even if you are not getting java it might still help you in the next uh, future of your career then after starting your training and getting your domains you will get your udemy courses and your uh, different different practice problems and all there also in each udemy course you can expect 350 to 400 and all different different uh, videos so there will be if there are two courses you will can expect 800 and more than that videos so are you able to see all those in just one month time you are not going to able to see all those okay so i will suggest first check what type of practice questions are there okay then learn that particular topic either from udemy or you can search on your mobile from youtube also you can learn from whatever wherever you can okay learning is the goal not finishing the course so you can learn whenever from you can and then uh, apply those logics and to try to solve the practice problems from tech stack this is for your basic growth okay this is not for your qualifier but you cannot pass the qualifier without knowing the basics of the programming and all okay so first you need to clear your basics after that at least prior to uh, seven to eight days of your qualifier I will suggest start trying your mock qualifier questions. Okay, you will be getting access to mock qualifier questions, or if you are getting the dumb questions or anything from any other sources and all, try practicing those questions. Okay, dumbs and all other questions. Also, many people will think that I will cheat and all. Don't stay in the hope of that. Okay, they might change the systems and you will not be able to cheat because. you are learning these things you are getting what type of questions you can expect exact like similar type questions just the thing might be a, a bit changed but the type of the questions how to solve it will be similar so you are getting all this from the mock qualifier questions only you can give the mock qualifier as many times as you want uh, there is no limited number you can give the mock qualifier as many times as you want so go and give it many times you give it first time you are not able to solve by yourself okay check the answer from any other sources or take help from your friends okay mock qualifier it does not matter you can take help for it, it doesn't matter uh, because mock qualifier is only for practice purpose first time get help understand the code by yourself okay try to remember then next time try to give it without seeing the answer try to solve it by yourself again you are getting stuck again uh, take help and understand it properly again give it a third try for third try give do it yourself okay so in that way you can try it thousands of time it does not matter you have to learn the concept you have to learn the uh, logic building process 
you have to learn to think how to solve this okay you have to learn the thinking process and also the syntax how to use that syntax to uh, to implement your thinking okay you have to learn this first to go from the basics first uh, learn logic building and programming skills sql skills without even getting your domain and all after getting domain learn the syntax of that particular language whatever you are getting okay and uh, syntax and also try solve different different uh, questions will be there for practice questions try try those for your fundamental knowledge and specially for the qualifier assessment you have to focus on the mock qualifier and dumps mainly okay main thing you will get to do for passing the qualifier is solving the mock qualifier questions without getting any help okay first time you will not be able to solve it first time you have to get some help second time also you have to get some help third time also we might have to get some help from anything from your friends from your teacher from uh, google from youtube wherever you are getting help it does not matter because mock qualifier is for learning purpose you have to learn it you have to be able to solve all the mock qualifier questions without taking any help at the end and if you are able to do that you are going to be able to solve all the qualifier questions also without getting any help so keep that in mind and for sql also you have to start uh, give, there is a sql mock qualifier questions also you have to start giving those okay you have to start practicing those in my playlist i have a separate playlist for cognizant qualifier there are multiple sql and uh, java questions there okay even if you are not having java you can still try to solve your suppose you are having c sharp and i have done the uh, course using java so you try to solve it using c sharp okay the questions uh, like any question that can be solved in java can also be solved in any other language so that's it so i have a playlist uh, you can go and check that also before uh, getting onboarding and after get, uh, getting onboarding you can already uh, check it from the mock qualifier questions and all but you will not be able to see the solutions there but i have solutions also in the playlist so you can check there i will give the link of the playlist in the description again and also one more thing uh, that many people ignores is that for most of the domains there is some mcq questions also in the qualifier and that also carries equal weightage of that one code okay so mcq also carries equal weightage of one code so uh, mcq also you have to focus okay mcq generally there are different different topics will be there that uh, that is there is no code type things but there will be some go mcq fill in the blanks type things like html css also there might be there javascript also might be there sql also might be there these type of things will be there whatever you have in your domain so you have to focus on that as well because mcq you have to score good also okay